Craftmas and welcome to my first Craftmas video of 2020. I'm going to be making Craftmas videos now all the way up until the 25th of December. Now I went Christmas shopping with my sister today so I started making this face very festive but throughout the next couple of weeks I'm going to be making a bunch of crafts with you guys. So today I'm going to be giving you guys a gift guide for paper lovers. Now this doesn't have to just be for Christmas, this can be birthdays or any occasion. If you you've got a friend or a family member that is a paper lover like me. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the cheaper ones first and then we're going to go all the way into the more expensive ones. So let's get started. Okay, so I wanted to start off with the $10 and under and the first thing I just wanted to say is um, if you want to gift something but you're not expected to gift a present, it might be good just to make a card. Now, I'm a paper lover and I really, really, really love it when someone makes me a handmade card. So I'm going to do a bunch of tutorials leading up until Christmas. So this is a card that I was gifted and I just thought it was so sweet of them and I really, really appreciated that they put that time and effort into making something. So these can be really cheap. You can make a card less than a dollar if you've got supplies or if you go and get a bunch of supplies, you can make a whole lot of cards throughout the year. And paper lovers will really appreciate a handmade card. So the second thing I wanted to show you was this beautiful tin. Now I picked this tin up at an op shop, it's the same as thrift shop in America, and it was 50 cents. I was so excited because it's such a lovely size and you can do so much with it. So very, very cheap, 50 cents. You can get them in all sorts of colours and designs, so it doesn't have to be a Christmassy one, but I know that I'm going to be using this this year for a Christmas gift. So things that I've done with tins in the past is sometimes I've baked some cookies and that also is a really cheap way of gifting something that's um, homemade and um, like I said I really really appreciate when people make homemade things for me because that's what I love to do as a paper lover. I love to make things but you can also print out a lot of photos so if you've got your own printer at home that's great but I know that if I get mine printed uh, professionally or at office works, it can be 10 cents a photo really. And then what you can do is you can make a little scrapbook and put it inside if you're thinking of getting a bit crafty. Um, or you could stack up all the photos and just put them in a really pretty tin and gift them that way. Um, I love to scrapbook with photos and um, yeah, you could put lots of different papers in here or even a little book or something. So I thought that would be a really good idea as a gift guide and it's super cute. <laughs> Um, other things you could put in your tin or just things that you could wrap separately for paper lovers are things like washi tape. Now, most stationery stores have washi tape. These ones I actually got from Kiki K and they are Christmas themed. So I'll link these in the description box below and I think I'm actually going to do a blog with photos. Um, but I'll let you guys know, you'll see it in the description box. But washi tape is a really cute idea for paper lovers. Um, most paper lovers I know use washi tape or things even like stamps are really cute if you find some nice ones. And you can wrap all these little small gifts and put them in like a Santa sack if you're celebrating Christmas. Or if you're doing birthday, you could, as I said, find a tin and wrap them all separately. Um, or just make a little crafty bag full of things. So washi tape stamps are really small little things that you can find cheaply or you can go and find more expensive ones. And they're really small things that, yeah, most paper lovers hopefully will appreciate. So other things that you could put in little Santa sacks or if you're just looking for a bunch of cheaper ideas, um, things like tea blends. So this is a chai latte tea and this is one of my favourite ones. Um, or little coffee sachets or even just little teas. I know that a lot of my pen pals used to send me teas when it wasn't COVID. Um, and I used to send a lot of teas too. So uh, I don't think I'm the only one who's a tea lover and a paper lover. Most people that comes hand in hand or even a coffee lover. So if you can find out um, what tea they like, it would be really cute maybe even to put their favourite tea or some chai latte if it's like a, ch um, a Christmas themed in like a little sash, um, like a sack or, or like a little basket of goodies. So that would be really cute together. Um, and yeah, again, you can buy teas at your supermarkets. They're really accessible as well. 
Now, the next thing I just wanted to mention, so items under $10, I got these really cute paper clips from the markets. So I've actually seen a lot of people in markets making things um, that you can use, like scrapbooking and things like that. So a lot of the time they're actually mothers and daughters, which is, which is really nice to see. And you can get some really cheap things. So I got this um these three packs so it's three packs for a dollar um and yeah they're really beautiful they're handmade and again i really think a paper lover would appreciate it because you could put it in snail mail you could put it in collages and you could use them for all sorts of things and they're just really delicate and beautiful and cheap and you're support supporting local businesses which i love speaking of supporting local businesses um, I also just wanted to add it in my own sticker sheet. So I just launched this new design this week and they're $5 each. So um, I would really recommend you going on Instagram or even on Pinterest to find local artists. So it doesn't have to be um, artists that, that they love and it might be internationally because that's when shipping prices um, get really expensive so if you can find even local artists especially around Christmas because I know that um, it's good, like all of the mail are going to be delayed we've had lots of COVID delays and then Christmas delays for shipping is going to be even longer so if you can find some local artists who make stickers um, stickers is a great one also postcards what else is really great like even pins or um, yeah, all sorts of things really. If you just find local artists either on Etsy or Instagram, you can pick up some really unique things. So I'll put a list of my favorite um, Instagram artists or even just artists that I love. And yeah, hopefully you can go through their shops and support, yeah, independent artists as well as local, depending what you're after. I just also wanted to chuck in this little Grinch book because I found it from the op shop. I think it was a dollar. It's Christmassy, it matches it, but I'm actually going to be using the pretty papers. So to keep an eye out for paper lovers, if you are doing op shopping, especially um, for cheaper items, then I always look for botanical books or things that are festive. If they like Disney, you can grab some Disney books because for me, I love collaging with um, books that are really beautifully designed so I look for botanical designs so if you get a bunch of books that you think are just going to be really pretty to collage with um, that might be a great one and you can bundle them up and then wrap them really nicely so that is the last one out of ten dollar and under gifts alrighty I just got my stash of forty dollar and under gifts <laughs> so all of these items are forty dollars and under oh except that one but never mind I'll explain that one in a second so Paper lovers books. I love paper lover books and for paper lovers I'm sure they love paper lover books too. These ones are the Kiki K paper lovers books. I'll have the link in the description box below. You can get all different types of these so they don't have to be Christmassy. They can be like this beautiful botanical ones, um, cutesy designs. They've got ones throughout the entire year so if you're looking for a paper lovers gift Kiki K, go to the paper lovers book, can never go wrong. Also, they usually release sticker books as well. Now, if your budget's not as large as a paper lovers book, because I think these ones are $29.99, I'm not 100% sure, but they're usually around $30. These ones are $20 Australian. So this basically is, usually they have a sticker book that just has the stickers of everything inside the Paper Lovers book. And I love gifting these because these ones are a lot cheaper. The Paper Lovers books are a lot more expensive and you don't know if they're gonna use the whole book. Um, so these are the best bet for me when it comes to gifting, when I know that people, that when some people just love stickers. And they're also, oh, my phone just done. These ones are the best to send. So if you're sending someone something internationally or anywhere across Australia, because this is like the smaller version, it's lighter and you've got to remember weight when you're sending items, especially if you're a paper lover like me and you're also like love pen paling and all that. I always got to think of the weight because I'm spending so much money on shipping.
So I mentioned previously that going and finding independent artists is a great way and sometimes you can get a bunch of things for under ten dollars but there are some more expensive ones out there so if you're going to get bundles of um, stickers and things from independent artists especially if you find them on Etsy or Instagram or Pinterest and things over the internet you've really got to remember shipping as well um, but a few of them can get a bit more pricier so I just wanted to show you another independent artist stickers because these ones I absolutely love. They're a lot cheaper when you buy just one, um, but when you're buying a whole collection, it can come a little bit more expensive. So these ones, I think they were over $10. Um, I had to add in Daiso because I love Daiso and you can get a bunch of stationery for very, very cheap. So although I wanted to put these in the $10 and under, you'll most likely buy a whole bunch of stuff for a paper lover because each one of these in Australia is $2.80. If you're in Japan, they're a dollar because it's a dollar, Japanese dollar store. So Daiso, I'll put the shop link in the description box below. But you can get a whole bunch of stationery there for really cheap and then you can do a little gift package if you wanted to. So the next thing is a stationary subscription box. Now, there are so many stationary subscription boxes out there at the moment. I do reviews of them quite often. A lot of my bento box reviews, they're quite expensive because of the shipping. Most of them, um, the ones actually that, that I do frequently, like your creative studio and things like that, they will most likely be around the $40 and under. Um, it's the shipping that can add on to them. So. I will link as many as I can think of in the description box because they are jam-packed with beautiful stationery. But you sort of have to know the style of the person. So if you can have a sneak peek if they have a little stationery stash to see if they like vintage or botanical or cutesy or whatever it is, try to gauge what style stationery they have in order to see what box you think they would like best. So the next item I wanted to add in is a beautiful journal. Now, if you know that your paper lover, the person you're gifting to, likes journaling, art journaling, even just writing, collaging, scrapbooking, it might be really nice to find a really cute journal that you think would match their style. Some of them have um, images inside, some of them will have lined paper, dotted paper, gridded paper. You can really find one that's really nice under that $40 mark. And I got this one from, I think it was Dimmick Stationery, so I will link that in the description box below. I also have videos where I go stationery shopping, so I think I bought this journal in a stationery shopping video. and. Yeah, it's really good to scrapbook and put all your memories in here. So if you know that they like scrapbooking and documenting, then it might be really nice to buy them a special journal that you gifted them. So I just wanted to quickly mention that other than the Kiki K Paper Lovers book, you can get the Flow Paper Lovers book. And I'll have that one linked in the description box below. I'm pretty sure they make it in the Netherlands. So it's more accessible to people over in Europe. And the Kiki K Paper Lovers book is more accessible for people in Australia. So I'll link both of them, just depending on which country you are living in. So I've got three big ticketed items here. The Paper Lovers. And more specifically, this one here is more for pen pal or snail mail lovers. Now these three items I wanted to add in because they're items that I saved up for um, or, or it took me a long time to find or purchase because they're not the average things that you can find in every store. This is something that if you want to gift something that's really, really special and you think this is something they would love, um, I'll also link these in the description box below because it took me a while to find them. Now, I'll start with the Traveler's Notebook. Now, if you know that the person you're gifting to loves traveling and note, like journaling and scrapbooking again, and they do a lot of collaging and notebooks, but they haven't had something like this before, this might be something that they love. They, this one I specifically got from Japan. You can find them in very specific stationery stores or bookstores um, but yeah this one I think once you get everything included in a traveler's notebook it can be up to a hundred dollars 
um, because I got a lot of extras, like even just the clip and like the charms and things, they cost a lot of money. So if you want to give something that's like a big ticketed item and you think they would love a traveler's notebook, you can even ask them like, slip it into conversation. <laughs> Have you heard of the traveler's notebook and gauge their reaction to it? Or if they even have like a smaller one because you can get all different sizes. Maybe you could buy them the bigger version or the smaller version. Love this one. It took me about three years to purchase one of these after finding out about them because I a didn't want to purchase one because of the price and I was a student at the time and b I wanted to purchase in the D Japan as well um, but you can definitely get them in um, like boutique stationery stores so that one's a big ticketed item the next one is I don't know if if other people love Australia or they live in Australia this is more an Australian um, post box but it is so cool because I don't know what's actually on camera because this flaps down <laughs> so you can actually put mail inside and this actually opens up but I think things will fall out and then on the side it says Aussie mail on the back like it has delivery and no standing it is heavy it's big it's beautiful <laughs> Um, I'll try to find where I got this one from because it took me a while to find like a really good, it, it is a kid's toy, but if you're a pay, um, sorry, if you're a pen pal lover or a state, uh, snail mail like lover and you know that the person sends a lot of letters, they might love this, especially if they're Australian, they want like an Australian post box. So that one, I think it cost me like $80. So... I didn't get it until this year and I've been doing YouTube for about five years now so it was something that I um, purchased once I knew that I 100% wanted it and that I would love it forever so yeah, this is one of my loves. Now again this is for someone who loves writing letters it's a typewriter you can see that it's a working typewriter the um, the ribbon has a lot of ink left on it so I've got two ribbons that came with it so I can use this one for a while um, if you know that someone loves writing letters then you can find these I found this one on Facebook marketplace you can go to eBay or things like that um, you can find them at op shops and thrift stores they're actually there's a lot of them you just need to make sure that it actually works and it could be something that someone would really love and appreciate because it's that vintage looking. Um, and, it, and it's a lot different to doing handwritten. I have the worst handwriting, so this is perfect for me. And I got mine for, I think, $50. So, or maybe it was a little bit less. But they are affordable. Um, you can get some that are really, really cheap. So, yeah, those are my three big items. And yeah, that's my gift guide. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this today. I hope I didn't ramble too much or use too many hands. I'm exhausted because I went Christmas shopping all day. So this is the end of the day for me. And I can't wait to start Craftmas and start crafting with you guys. So let me know in the comment section, what was your favorite gift that I um, gave for the gift guide? I'd love to know. And if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments as well. What would be your favorite gift as a paper lover? Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.